Hello, this is Reza from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can share different visual pages with different group of people. Like, for example, some of them you might want to have access only to the reporting page, some of them to the sales page in Power BI. How you can do that? Let's see that how it works. Okay, before I explain the scenario, let me explain that this is not something I call a solution. This is more like a workaround because at the moment there is no way to share every visual or every page separately with different group of people. Uh, you might have heard of role level security. I have done a lot of blog articles, videos about role level security, a book on role level security, which you can go and study those. But the thing about role level security is that that applies only on the data set, not on the visuals or on the page. For example, if you have a role level security, you cannot say, I want users to see this page or I don't want them to see that page. So how that works then? Uh, we get that working with the concept of shared data set and copying the visual. So let me first uh, show you how we create a shared data set. Uh, and every one of these concepts that I'm talking about, if the concept is not familiar with you, uh, just use the link down in the description below to my blog article, which has all the related links in it. Uh, this is my movies data set or and report. I'm going to publish this to a general data set. I have a data set uh, to a general workspace. I have a workspace called general data set workspaces. So I'm going to publish this over there. Um, and after this becomes published, so I go to uh, my data set here. Um, so I can see this is now my data set the movies data set. It also has a report. Every data set usually comes with the report. Now, uh, I'm going to create a Power BI report connected to this data set. So what I'll do is I'll create a new Power BI data set, a new Power BI desktop report connected to that data set. Uh, and the way that it works is that instead of getting data from the original source, this time you can get data from the Power BI data set, the concept of shared data set, which I have explained in uh, some presentations, videos, and blog articles. So here I can say get data. Let me zoom in uh, so you can see that. Uh, under get data, I can say get data from Power BI data set. And usually you will see all the data sets that your account has access to see. In this case, I might have multiple versions of these movies. I'm going to select the one that is under general data set workspace. When I select that, this will create a live connection to that data set, uh, similar to live connection in analysis services. You see there's a live connection with a Power BI data set. And I have all of those uh, tables, calculations, everything there um, uh, come directly here, which I can use. Now, what I'll do is I'll go to my other Power BI report, which has everything in it. Let's say, for example, I want the sales to be in that one. I'll copy everything here. Control A, select all the visuals in this page. Control C, copies that. And then here, I just paste Control V, and that will paste it. And everything should come uh, all visualized here because the field names are exactly the same, measure names are exactly the same, so I don't really need to change anything. But that, but this time, the connection is live connection, right, to that report. Now, uh, you have to remember that if in your original report you have page level filters or report level filters, which is filtered on all pages, you have to come and manually add those over here as well. Um, but otherwise, this is just working perfectly fine. I'm going to call this page sales page, and I'm going to save this report as movies sales. So this is ready. Now I'm going to publish it. Now, uh, because I'm going to share it with a different audience, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a different workspace for that audience. You can put it all in one workspace as well, but I'm creating different workspace because I can create different apps based on that. So I'm calling this movies sales workspace, which at the moment doesn't have anything in it. And what I'll do is I'll publish that 
into this movie's sales workspace. So my report would be published in this workspace in a second, which is done. Now I see this data set and the report. Uh, so this report is in movie sales. It has its own data set, but if you notice, this data set is not a normal data set. This is a linked data set. This is not actually a data set you can refresh. You can see the last refresh time of the original data set. This is a linked data set to the original data set in the other workspace. So as soon as the other workspace data set refreshes this report, uh, we will see the new data in this report as well, right? So I can do the same approach with another copy. So I can create like another Power BI desktop. Um, again, get data from dataset, but this time I will be using another page. This time I will be using the rating page. So let me just copy everything from there. And I'm still waiting for the Power BI desktop to open. Here it is. So it is open. This time recent sources again. Live connection to the movies. I will be using the same connection and pasting this time the rating page, which is a different page. Let's call it rating. Uh, I will be calling this also movies rating. As you notice, the new um, the new files that are live connections are much smaller than the original file. So th these files does not have data. They do have only uh, they do only have the visualization. Uh, and I'm going to publish this into another uh, workspace. I'm going to create again another workspace, this time calling this movies rating. Skip that and publish this one into the movies rating. So I have two different report pages created as two different uh, reports actually and published in two different workspaces. So here now I have the linked data set again and the report. This is movies rating and that was movies sales. Now, because I have these in two different workspaces, I can easily go and share them uh, separately with different audience. Like for example, I can go to movies sales. Under movies sales, I can go and uh, create an app, a Power BI app with some description, doesn't matter at the moment. Um, and then under permission, I can say this user, uh, which I'm going to share with, has permission on this app. Now, one thing you have to notice for this is that because this is using a shared data set, this user has to have access to that shared uh, data set as well. In my case, because shared data set is living in another workspace, so I have to go to that workspace, general data set workspace, and I have to give access to that user as well. And the access to that user just need to be a viewer, should be fine. Yep, so this user has a viewer access. Now I'll go to Power BI using my other account. So Power BI using my other account, I'll go to apps, and uh, get apps. Uh, I'll see all the apps that I have access to. Movie sales in this case is one of those. I select that. Um, if I have access to the rating, I will see that as well. Now I've created one example of this right before this. So I'm not sure is which one is this one. Hopefully this is the new one I've created. Yep, it is. And you can see, I see the sales report working perfectly fine. So a few things about this implementation. First is that this is not just a normal copy. This is much better than that because we are using the concept of shared data set. If you look at the, um, if you look at the uh, files that I have here, the movies, the original file has all the data. These two are just linked to that. They are much smaller and they don't have the logics of calculations, DAX, everything lives in the original file because that original file is the place that has all the calculations, tables, uh, the logic over there. I'm using the concept of shared data set. Um, because the user still have access to the data set, so if user creates something on the data set, a new report, they will see everything. So you might consider creating a rollable security also on top of this, then this would be rollable security on the data set and visual level security with this way as well. 
so um, it's not a, exactly a solution, but it is a workaround that works perfectly well. Uh, whenever your shared data set refresh, all other reports, they are all connected to that, so they get all the new data as well. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you. Thank you.